Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna to discuss why I invest in something called silver. This is an American Eagle silver coin, which right now is like 20 some dollars I think. I didn't look up the exact price before making this video, but uh, it's around there somewhere. You know what the beauty of uh, investing in silver is? Everybody can get in on this. I mean, this is a cheap asset to invest in. And it's a really good one. So, basically, um, it's an asset that you're not aware that you probably have in several things you own, like your cell phone, your watch, or any other piece of jewelry. And it's also like in your computer and stuff. And silver is a commodity. And um, it just, it has used to back the U.S. dollar, I think, way back in the day before Nixon took it off in 1971. And um, I know there's been talk where people have said, well, you know, it hasn't done anything, so there's no point in me investing in it. Well, of course, you know, nobody talks about it when it's low. People only talk about it after it's shot to the moon. Same thing with Bitcoin. Did anybody talk about Bitcoin, you know, when it was, you know, like $100 a coin or less? Not really. And talk about it until right around 2017 when it really took off. Uh, silver's been around a lot longer though, like since ancient times. And when things get really bad in the economy, one of the things people do is um, go to gold and silver when they suspect something's wrong with the dollar. And of course, as I've said in a couple other videos, I've mentioned the word inflation. I didn't really talk about it, but uh, in the last few years alone, we've had some uh, inflation. So you've noticed your groceries getting more expensive, you know, putting up your gas tank and all that stuff. Well, when the dollar was backed by gold and silver, inflation really wasn't taking off because, you know, money couldn't just be printed out of thin air. So, um, anyway, after I read some uh, key books, which I'm going to show you in one sec, I really woke up and said, I got to get in on gold and silver because it's just crucial to have. Not that you're going to make like a fortune off of it, but it's going to be a hedge against inflation. So starting out. Right here is a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, if you haven't read this already, I highly recommend you read this. Uh, this is a great book. And it just basically shows you the ropes of how money works. So, yep. So, definitely pick this up from Amazon. It's like 10 bucks or less. Uh, maybe a little more. It, it's not expensive though. So, anyone can afford to pick up this book right here. So, it's a great read. I highly recommend it. All right, and I said in a previous video, this book goes more in depth about gold and silver. I highly recommend you check this one out. Um, this one is also a great read by Mike Maloney. I get all my gold and silver from him, so uh, check out his website, which I'll leave a link in the description below for you to go over and uh, see what he has for sale, because they're a great company, and uh, that's where I buy all my gold and silver. Now, uh, as far as storage goes, you definitely want to store it in a, a safe of your own, a fireproof safe. You don't want to keep it in the bank because if things get really bad, it can get confiscated and you don't want that to happen. So you definitely want to store your gold and silver, you know, yourself and store it in a safe place. That way, you know, A, it can't get stolen and B, it can't like, you know, go poof if there's a fire. So... You know, you want to protect assets like that. So, um, anyway, yeah, I uh, personally love gold and silver myself. Uh, I try to get some whenever I can. And if, uh, you know, you have any questions about it, just, uh, you know, drop something below. And I'll answer as best as I can and uh, try to help you out there. Um, I know not a whole lot of uh, credit card YouTubers going to gold and silver, but... Um, I used to use credit cards to buy gold and silver. I heard that um, they'll hit you with a cash advance fee if um, you use gold, or I'm sorry, a credit card to buy gold and silver. So I'm not 100% sure that's true. I know what's true with uh, buying Bitcoin with, you know, using a credit card. So uh, I used to do that back in the day before they changed that rule. But yeah, so it's... Uh, it's a good thing to have on the side. Don't think you're gonna, you know, get rich off of it, like extremely rich. It could go up a lot in value, and you know, you could, you know, make some money there. It's more of a hedge against inflation, so that's the best way to take it. And uh, 
If you're wondering uh, about this dog, this is uh, the, this is a new puppy. Uh, so yep, it's a new puppy that uh, you know started living here. So he's he's a cool dog so far. Anyway, yep. So if you have any uh, questions, comments, or concerns, please drop below. Answer as best as I can. I'm gonna leave a link to the to, to uh, where uh, you know I buy mine, my gold and silver at. So uh, that way you know too. And um, yep, I thank you for watching this video. Take care, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.